uh, my great pleasure this morning to uh, introduce Mr. Dave Jones, who comes to a, a nominee for the office of elder in our church. Uh, we've heard from three uh, deacon nominees in previous uh, weeks, and today uh, we hear from Dave as an elder nominee. You know Karen, his wife, uh, very active in the women's ministry, and of course Dave, uh, responsible for the room in which you sit right now as chairman of our building committee. So we, Dave, we welcome you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and all the believers in this room. I have to correct Jim on one thing. This is the first time, you know, I, I made seven presentations at the, at the school to give you updates of what's going on, and each time Jim proceeded with that and telling me how many minutes I had. <laughs> to, today he didn't say it. <laughs> I can't. So I, I, I control, I control it, I mean, whatever. I guess he always thought I was going to interfere with his sermon, but I, I, I did not, and I thank you for the fine introduction. Uh, I'm very humbled to be selected as a candidate as elder by several of you. You probably know me as Karen Jones's husband, but uh, I, or from being on the church development committee for the last couple of years. We are blessed we have two sons, one that lives in Newville and another one lives in Kansas City. I wish they were closer. And um, we have nine grandchildren. Now that's enough for a baseball team, but they have, we have seven girls and two boys. But, and they all refer to me as Duke, so it's quite unique. And I was raised in a very strong Christian home by godly parents, and my dad was an officer in the church for many years. And from my dad's teaching and grievance, I made a commitment to Christ while I was still in high school. I have to admit that my devotion and commitment to Christ wavered for many years. Karen and I, during our first four years, of, I mean, not 10 years of marriage, made many moves to many, several cities and states as I advanced in the hospitality business. Our time in these cities was brief which prevented us to be actively find a good church home. Now, when we settled here in Nashville about 20 years, a little over 20 years ago, I was having lunch with Tom Cummings, who many of you in this congregation will well remember. Well, Tom and I had a long friendship because, of course, he was in the sign business and did a lot of business in the hospitality business, so we knew each other very well. And uh, during that luncheon, Came, the subject of churches came up, and Tom said that, you know, you need to come in, to this startup church that we have on Hillsborough Pike. He said they have an outstanding men, uh, pastor who really teaches the power of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, once you attend, you won't leave. Tom was right. We didn't leave. The Lord confirmed covenant was the church for us because of the powerful preach, preaching that focused on the gospel. I had not grown in my walk with the Lord Jesus or made a total commitment to him. For several years, I had sinned greatly. I confessed them and asked the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive me from my sins. I come, came to know Christ in a way I had never known before. Jim's powerful delivery strengthened my belief in both Christ and prayer. Over this process of reviewing candidates, several elders have asked me, well, why do you want to serve this church? Well, you know, it's really very simple. Because the Lord is leading us and because of you. Because you really believe that we could overcome the many obstacles that we had faced over the last three years like Saint, where we, had, we went and prayed in, in, in some very unusual spaces, like St. Paul's and the Sheridan Hotel, the Julia Green School, and Chaffin's Barn, all which have different memories for all of us. With the help of the Lord, we stayed the course, believing we would someday have a new home and call it our own. Because of you, all of you, and your blessings, we now have that home in our own church. And I believe we are blessed to have two pastors that are the best in Nashville, and I believe all of you would agree with that. We thought it was doomsday when we were hit by COVID-19. 
this spring, but this pandemic has strengthened our commitment to the Lord. While some churches are still closed, and there's more than you think, and others have laid off staff, they have stopped growing. But that is not the case here at Stevens Valley Church. And again, even today, we welcome some new members to our congregation later on. Now, one of the reasons we, six, we uh, chose this particular location was that we knew we would be surrounded by new families coming to this area who would need a church and need the Lord as well. I just met with the Stevens group just a couple of weeks ago, and they told us at that time, 221 lots have already been taken. A percentage of those are all new homes, a percentage of them are homes that are under construction, and the rest are by developers who will soon build those homes. If you recall, the plan was to do 60 homes a year for 10 years, for 600. They are ahead of that pace. This church now has a wonderful opportunity to meet those new owners' needs. The virus will pass in a matter of time, and we should be prepared as a congregation to welcome many who are hungry to hear the word of God. As a congregation, we have overcome a lot in the past three years, and that's why I want to serve. We need to count our blessings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. God has put his hands on this congregation and I thank each and every one of you for being a believer that God put us here for the, his purpose and for his glory. We all love this church, and I want to, it to grow. And we, I, mean, I know that believers like you, we will continue to grow. Thank you so very much.